time for an update. Nashville, 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 Nashville. It's been all right, wouldn't you say? Yeah. It's been lovely. There's not enough visine in the world for a rooftop bar, though. No. Nope. Wasn't ready for that. But literally, the last business trip I went to was in the windy city of Chicago, and ain't got shit on a rooftop bar in Nashville, but. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Uh, Blake Shelton, got to meet him. This is definitely the real him. That glare, it's the new iPhone. It's, uh, he had a shimmer to him. <laughs> we'll say. Yeah, went to his bar, got to see the Broadway girls. <laughs> this one right here. That old lady was getting it, wasn't she? Absolutely. I don't even know if you remember. I'm just putting in the little clips <laughs> and hoping you remember. Uh, yeah, you already kind of posted a part of uh, the, the band or whatever. Which yeah. put on a hell of a show. I think they were called Whiskey... Cash and Roses. Yeah, Whiskey and a Kidnapping in Progress. The one girl, it was her birthday. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, yep. And you could tell by the look on this man's face. He caught one. That was definitely a, uh, a shock moment for him. It was like one of those, you know, when you first throw the pole in, stick it in the rod holder, and all of a sudden the bell rings. You're like, damn, I can't believe I got one on that quick. That's That was that look. He was like, damn, I got me one. But all jokes aside, man, that poor girl shouted out that it was her birthday, and this old couple, she roped her in, and they were just dancing three-way, and it was... <laughs> awkward. Very awkward, yeah. <laughs> Man, it's been kind of nice down here, right? Went out seeing the sights. Came to Nashville to really see the sights, really soak it up. Every ounce of it. So you know, you know I had to hit that 7-Eleven. You know what I'm saying? Yep, that's the first 7-Eleven I've ever seen. I got a little clip of that. I think only Nashville has them too. Stop over here and there's some road. I, bro, Broadway, uh, Broadway, uh, Broad, Broadway, Broadway, Broadway. I don't know. It seems boring. Got one just to piss Dagburn off, of course. So yeah, the. You know, the steak was good. The 7-Eleven was really quite interesting. But you guys know good and well I had to do it. And just, just to piss you off, Dagburn. <laughs> no other reason but that. Dang. There is no room. God, you know that pisses you off, doesn't it, Dagmar? Also had to pull over to tie my shoe. Shit's crazy, man. Had to tie my shoe. Yeah, man, it's kind of cool. It's the first business trip I ever got to go on where I got to take a plus one and bring Mrs. Gotcha Man with me. Be fun. I'm kind of a big deal. I'm kind of a big deal. You're not that guy. But yeah, imagine that. Bringing plus ones to downtown Nashville. What are you doing, Dagburn? You getting her a sausage bag, bacon, egg, and cheese? Bag. or <laughs> You getting her a croissant? Get her a <laughs> cinnamon toast taco. Man, that's a, yeah, your existence is a lot more sad when I say it out loud. Boba tea. Yeah. I don't care if she and your wife are at Nashville. And I don't care if she's got a rooftop pool. I went down and got my wife double bacon on her baconator and brought it to her nursing home work. <laughs> Fucking loser. You ought to get a job with her and help wipe some asses. Fucking lazy fuck. Uh, oh, look. A buzzard. Damn, didn't even fly away either. But yeah, and I actually say your name. Uh, he's always like, I don't even have to say his name. 
you know, and I, I forgot, and I apologize, this is a good time to mention this too. The one thing that I forgot to mention in the thank you video to everybody was the fucking um, obituary. obituary. Yeah, I completely slipped my mind, which was the main point, but people were so generous, so generous, Dagburn. You wouldn't believe the amount of money I got. That's why I was just so clouded and was like, man, I got this urn for my sister, this one for my mom. I bought her tax for a car, got her title. I just couldn't believe all the support that came in, Dagburn. Man. Dagburn. Dagburn. Dagburn, they donated. I know it pisses you off, too. It was a hundred grand, Dagburn. Nah. Uh, <laughs> he just threw his phone down. Did he pick it back up? I'm not done. Hey, uh, but oh, yeah, no. Me some teeth too. Yeah, I forgot about that. But speaking of the obituary, and people know you're retarded, but I just want to make sure you know we got to really keep the foot on the pedal and drive it home to make sure people don't forget how retarded you are. This guy said that I was wrong. <laughs> And my, I make a community post just, you know, remembering my father. And like AD said, it's all about context, right? It's, hey, man, you know, he lost his battle to cancer. It's sad to see him go. And and not only were you dumb enough to say that I, you know, I followed that up with the swift rotten hell. Is that what he said? Rot, yeah, anyway. Uh, Rest in hell or something. Something, yeah. Not only were you dumb enough to think that's what that meant. But then he also says he puts his dad's whole name out there, y'all. And y'all, he's a dying, and then you fucking, when he does die, you say, uh, burn in hell. Put his name, his whole name out there and shit. Like, dude, you're a weird motherfucker. It's sick fuck. Sick, man. He's sick, y'all. That's a fuck shit. I got the clip. I'll put it in there. That's a fuck shit, is it? Because that's how obituaries work. <laughs> it turns out, hey... They also put their name on a fucking chunk of stone and put it in the ground for everybody to see, you dumb fuck. God. Oh my god. And this is coming from the same guy that puts out a community post. You know, a picture of my dad's house while he's laying in there dying of cancer. And this guy well, is on his soapbox. He doxed your dad. Yeah. And well, that's what I mean. And everything, yeah. That's literally what I just said. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I put a picture out of it. And it's just whatever, man. But... Hey, I tell you what, your stupidity makes people want to support even more. Thanks, Dagburn. <laughs> the sites, that STK steak was pretty good. Uh, I got a little clip of them melting the butter with the torch. <laughs> and then this crackhead knocked on the window from outside and was like, that's my torch. Yep. And I was like, what is he talking? That's my torch. Do you hear him? No. Oh. Uh... But no, I see what they mean when they say leave them Broadway girls alone. That poor old lady. Yeah, that's how you stay young though. You gotta get out there and dance. Y'all think I'm gonna make it big? All these corporate meetings? Do you think I am? Sure. I tell you what I do is I just take the phone out and record uh, and take pictures of all the slides. and <laughs> Right? I'll just have to show you the picture. That's literally what I've been doing. While you just keep sleeping in the hotel. Uh, but anyway, tomorrow's the uh, tomorrow's the big bang, the big shebang, the whole dress up ballroom deal. I'll get a couple pictures of what I can there. Uh, obviously, I'm not stupid enough to take a bunch of pictures of the hotel and post them right now while I'm still there because you know, butt hurt people call the motel there's a guy there that said that my dad touched my butthole yin's ought to go to his room and tell him to leave there he's sick y'all he don't belong to stay there you just gotta know who you're dealing with he don't belong to stay there he goes by the gotcha man and he said he's gonna make a couple of a while we're going after dagburn and put out a little sad story about my dad and then <laughs> you know what i mean that's what we'll do I'm gonna put a I'm gonna put a complication out about you. Cooper and Lash, he's he's gonna put together Cooper and Lash and God, put out your compilation. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> it's compilation, dude. Put out your compilation. Oh shit! Who? So you know those gay sex videos you watch? <laughs> you know how they put a bunch of them together? 
you ought to look at the title one day. It's compilation. It's, it, it means they put a bunch of different clips together. And I'm still going to do that. Um, and while we're in Tennessee, we're trying to find Tennessee accountability so he could teach her how to take accountability for having a black child. Absolutely. A mixed child, that is, because yeah. Lord knows Dagburn said she had to do that. She had to repent and take accountability for having a mixed child. Those two things. And she but he ain't can go racist. to heaven. He ain't racist, y'all. Yeah. This guy had the nerve to say, then why, he needs to not put R.I.H. then. He needs to not put that. Could have been right in heaven, so she put him on a Harley. Do I need to not put R.I.H. or do you not need to obsess over my post and try to dissect it and try to make it mean something else because you're so obsessed with me? And I don't like the fact that I'm your new obsession. I'd rather you be obsessed about Ryan some more. Ryan. You know how they always say, too, that people give away their true intentions and, and their true wants and everything? Like, that couldn't be more true with him. Because, you ever notice that? He's, like, constantly, like, the clip of, oh, well, you're just trying to get to Ghost Ranch, or you just want to see Ryan, or I post a steak, and Ryan paid for it. You're just showing us what you want. Uh, like, that, that you just, you, whatever. That's your biggest desire. And... Super weird. Yeah. So. And lead them Broadway girls alone.